What's going on everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with Dayton. You guys might remember him from the RX-7 video yeah. of last weekend. And today, are we taking off yes, the GTR? Yes, yeah, I got the leak fixed, we're good. Finally. So plan for today, we're gonna go find some cool JDM cars, so stay tuned. Wait, 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 okay. so there's an S14 across the street? Yeah, so there's, I, did, I kind of forgot about this car. When I, I noticed when I first moved here. Is it abandoned or? It's No, it's it's titled, but it has not moved. It's been sitting here for over, for over two years now. Kanji? Yeah. Ooh. And it's a, it's a S14 cookie. Are we walking? Yeah, right All right. here. Oh man, GTR looking good as always. I was a little bummed out because the last time I came over here, GTR was broke. Yeah, stupid leaks. What? So check out this S14. How'd you forget about this car? It's literally across the well, street. Well, it's got the cars parked right here, so I always forget. Yeah, my house is literally right there. See his masculine car, my GTR behind it. Dang, man. But this thing has been sitting here forever. It's got cobwebs in the exhaust. Jeez. This thing, I mean, it, it's a beautiful looking car. Yeah. Beautiful looking car, but it is dirty. Like, there's so much dust on here. And you can see the rust on the third brake light. No. Yeah, it's starting. Man, we need to put a note on here. Dude. How much you want for like your car, bro? Lights. I know Jeremy liked to use hands on those. Man. And I like it in black, too. Yeah. But you can see how long it's sitting out in the sun. Oh, look at the bumper. What happened? Yep. What happened to you? Yep. Please don't end up in the junkyard, yeah, whatever you do. Sense. Rust is already starting. Yep. Damn, rust droplets everywhere. The roof is super faded. Oh man, what is going on up here? What is all that? Yeah, that's just like rust water from all the stuff above us that's licking on it. Oh, you see all that? Yeah, the no. house, all the, all the window stuff. Or Dude, there, there, there has to be a story behind this car. Yeah, it's been sitting here for over two years. And like it's either broken and the person just doesn't have the means or the effort to like fix yeah. it. Did you paint road tax for it? I don't know. I don't know. No, they haven't paid road tax since what? Dude, the JCI expired. That's four years ago. Yeah. Five years ago. Five years ago, yeah. Could yeah. This one now. JCI expired on this. So this thing's been sitting for a minimum of four years. Yes. But it, it, it does have plates. Dude, before you leave, we got to figure out. Yeah. We got to figure out the story behind this. How oxidized. Hey, how about this? You guys watching. Comment below, let me know what the story is behind this car. What do you think it is? Get creative with it. That's crazy, man. Man, look at the rust. Just leaking all over this thing. Yeah. It's crazy. The body is straight on it, minus the front the front bumper. Yeah, plus it's not. ABS cool. wheels. Dude, look at it. Dude, the intercooler is looking a little gnarly. That bracket is about to snap off. Yeah, but. A kooky front end, man. This is like. Dude, this is gold, though. You know what I mean? People love to get their hands on kooky. Yeah, that's still in pretty good condition. Sylvia S14. I don't want to say rip. It's too early to say rip. Dude, it's been sitting for five years, but it is an SR20 DT. Yeah. So like. It's got the good engine. But look at that. That right there should be saying one. Yeah. And then the JCI. You subtract because that was the Heisei year. Yeah. So 12 from 27. So it was 2015 April. So it's com yeah, com coming up on five years in April. That's, That's when the JCI expired. That's so it was done two years prior to that. So yep, yep, yep. So the JCI. 2013. Yep, the last JCI was 2013 on this car. So this, there's a possibility this thing broke down right after JCI. Or, uh -huh. Man. Crazy. <sighs> Very nice car, though. Very, hey, good find, man. Yeah. While Dayton's upstairs grabbing something, I wanted to do a little update on his YouTube channel. At the time when we filmed that video, he was at like, I think 870 subscribers or 850, somewhere around there. And as of today, he's at like 965 and he is getting close to a thousand. He's kicking off a thousand subscriber giveaway. So if you've not yet subscribed to Godzilla in a tux, definitely go check out his channel. And here's his Instagram right here. The YouTube handles uh, exactly the same minus the underscores, but he's got a lot of good content. Obviously he's got a beautiful R33 GTR. Holy crap, I just found an ARC intercooler up here. <laughs> Stupid. Looking good though, man. Looking real good. Yeah, you. Well, you're like 30. Hey, I just checked. You're 35 subs away from a thousand. What? Yeah, you're at 965. Ah, come on, guys. I appreciate uh, it. That's awesome. I getting, really appreciate the support, guys. Getting close. So if you haven't done so already, go do it so we can kick off this giveaway. It's giving away some cool stuff. Warmed up. You want to hear it? You guys want a little, uh, little rep for the boys? Yeah. <laughs> Love the RB. So we're on a little bit of a time crunch. Dayton's got a 
a thing to do here in a little bit, and it's getting a little cloudy out. So we're gonna. My wife doesn't start drinking by 6:30. I'm gonna be grounded. My first time is GTR. He's got the Nismo gauge cluster, white face. I love it. We have the Blitz Eye Color Boost Controller. All my trees. Oh yeah. Well, check out the uh, no shift knob, and the boot, and all this stuff. Yeah. It's all custom done. The seats are custom. Dude, I even like. I like this too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. It looks really sweet. No more wheel side though. <laughs> Our wing and side stretch are gone. AC feels good, man. Yeah, it's, it's uh nice. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn! I did not expect <laughs> that stock boost. Oh man, I did not expect that at all. <laughs> I was about to say something and old boy throws it in neutral and drops the clutch. Oh yeah. Yeah, just clutched it first and it grip, grips and goes, man. Yeah, man. I love this car. Oh, the matching, the matching gauges? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got all new LEDs in here, so the night is like super bright. The funny thing is, this car doesn't have a scent at all. I know. It smells like new car. <laughs> and they haven't been used. Like, I haven't put a, a new one in in like six months. It doesn't even smell like wild cherry. It there. should. I know. The amount of freaking little cherries. That trees. was my nickname in high school. Wild I'm cherry. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, guys. So we're doing a little cars for sale vid today. Dayton actually found a pretty sweet spot. Oh, look at that Copen. And right next to the spot we're actually in, initially planning on going to. We got a bunch of Jimny's out here, and a lot of you guys are always asking about Jimny's. Here's some clean ones. That one on the far left, they're asking 490,000 yen, like 4,500 bucks. I love those things. Two door, all wheel drive. They come in manual. You see the hood scoop, means they got like a little turbocharger. K cars, awesome. Here's one, 1,050,000 yen, about $10,000. This is 2008. And this is like straight Jimny's. This place is called Tomo. 1,150,000 yen, about 11,000 for this one. 1,100,000, 10 and some change. Oh, this one's cool. 850,000 yen, that's about $8,000, and that's got some fender flares. 550,000 yen, here's some more Jimny's. Is that really 190,000 yen? It's like 1,500 bucks, and that is a 92. If I'm uh, I'm good with the Heisei year, that one's a 2,000 to the right, but I think this one's a 92. Unless they're asking 1,900,000 yen, but that wouldn't make sense. It's gotta be 190,000 yen. All right, guys, we're at the dealership that Dayton spotted the other day. Hats off to him because I didn't even know this place was around here. I'm always trying to find dealers with cool cars, and lately I've been going to Dream Run. For whatever reason, a lot of the car dealerships here in Japan haven't been getting sports cars. I know the prices on them are going through the roof. So a lot of the dealers probably aren't making as much money as they were when they're buying them dirt cheap and selling them for hire to the Americans out here because now they have to pay a premium to get their hands on these vehicles so I think that's why I'm seeing less and less and a lot of the 90s like early 90s cars already getting bought up because right now it's 2019 so anything that's a 1994 pretty much all the way up till October to the end of the year is eligible to go back stateside so now we're getting into the cars that are 95 so anything 94 and older pretty much has been bought up by Americans and you guys have seen the prices I've lived in Japan now for about two years and the prices just from me being here two years have gone up so much I remember getting on Gunet uh, right before I moved out here seeing the prices, seeing what the R32, even like the, the GTSTs and some of the RX-7s, what they're going for. Even what I paid for my R33. I paid 19,000 for my R33 GTR back in July. Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but I paid 19,000 for my R33 GTR. That was a V-spec, about 140,000 kilometers, so under 100,000 miles, KN6, uber rare color code, and I sold it for just a little bit more than what I paid for, but now, you can't even find them for like under 30, essentially. They're all going through the roof. And if I would've just held on to it a little bit longer, I definitely could've gotten a lot more money for it. But hindsight's 2020. You live and you learn. At least I gotta drive the GTR. I don't think I'll personally ever buy another R33 GTR. Been there, done that, phenomenal car. But I think after paying what I paid, I don't wanna buy the same car similar condition for twice the price. That's just me. I'd rather get something else. There's so many awesome JDM cars out there. So with that being said, let's see if Dayton's done and if I can get over here and check these cars out. Another beautiful day out here in Okinawa as well. Uh, it's almost November, coming up on the end of October, and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops out here. It's still like in the mid 80s, but right now, so we're here at Quick, and you guys can see the cars behind me. Let's see if they're Quick. So let's check them out, turn this camera around, and see what kind of prices they're asking for these cars. So we'll go ahead and start way down here at the end so I don't miss any cars. I don't have any contact information. I'll see if I can get a number for those that are in Okinawa or those that are actually moving to Japan. Check out this Prius, sitting on some VIP style wheels, 1,090,000 yen, it's about 10,000 bucks. Actually, not a bad price for a hybrid. I know some people are into this. Check out the Toyota badge. It's pretty sweet. Not really my style. It's got a nice window tint, a lot of chrome, but uh, if you're looking for a fuel efficient car that is pimped out a little bit. Oh, shoot. Evo. Yeah. Ah, uh, he didn't he didn't want any. Oh, he's turning. And 1,690,000 for this uh, this 3 series. 
It is a 320. I don't think it's, is this a 3? Yeah, it's a 320. Yeah, you don't see a lot of uh, a lot of BMWs driving around Okinawa, in all honesty. I mean, you see them in mainland Japan, but out here, yeah. I don't see a lot. I saw a sick white M2 yesterday. M2 out white here? Plate. What? Yeah, yeah, like, it was sick, dude. It was like, the brakes on were massive. The car looked great, it had like carbon fiber accents and stuff. And I was like, at a stoplight, I was like, dude, I was like, your car is sick. He's like, thanks, man, yours too. And I was like, appreciate it. <laughs> we drove off, and I was like, it was, it was, it was fun. <laughs> Here's was a Toyota Mark II. They did put a 1J in this, though, all the way up until like the early 2000s, and then they stopped. This is probably like 2005. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know for sure, but I, I, I assume. Uh, here's a Toyota Mark II. No I mean, it has a catback exhaust on it. Yeah, there's no intercooler, though. That's not the first thing they do here. Y yeah, 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 that's true. Is this a, a Sufero? Yeah. What? Is that RB20? What is that? I think these have RB20s in them. Yeah, I think so, too. If they would have made them later, they'd wow. make them after a certain year. It'd Dude, cool. I have not seen one of these in person. I like the exhaust. Dude, dual tip. this is a nice find right here. Because I get a lot of people asking yeah. me for these cars. And the paint on it. Yeah. Nice. It's in good shape, too. There's no dents. There's no dings. I think they were asking 14000 for it. That's it? Yeah. For a four-door? Man. It's got a roll cage. It's got a Bobo steering wheel. Rolled fenders. Yeah. And actually, no, they're asking 1290000 oh, yeah, this one was Yeah, 1290000 yen. Yeah. Super rolled. I know, so I will say a lot of these cars, these prices I'm throwing out, don't include the JCI. The ones close to the military bases, oh, they'll right. have a different price on the window. Yeah. So they'll say, hey, we're asking 1,290,000 yen, but if you want two year JCI and warranty and everything, oh, stuff, yeah. it'll be 14,000. Oh, okay. But 1,290,000 yen with today's exchange rates, probably right around 12,000. Yeah. So 12,000 bucks. I love the projectors too, man. No. Sick headlights. So those, those look, oh yeah, they're OEM. You can see Nissan stamp on. Really nice. Big old, I love the where they relocated the yeah license big old plate. front mount yeah yeah that I, looks dude, really nice dude come on you know I'd you, rock you, it. you know you can't have a license plate blocking the airflow on that fat I intercooler know. I'd like mount it up here like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tinted front window yeah it is you look at this one highly illegal to this that is one the, this is not passing JCI yeah, no. <laughs> especially with the window tint in the back but hey if you want to scoop up a car and get it shipped out of here they got one out here yeah that thing's sick dude I'm what digging is. it man. I'm digging it. I really, really like this. Very cool. And then we're obviously not going to forget the Sylvia S15 over here. Yeah. This is all like the new hotness right now. Dude, this is. car is picking up so much traction. As it should, man. It, I mean, they're they're awesome. I've been a huge fan for a while, but always. You know, Adam LZ. Yeah. His drift uh, S15. You know, everybody's trying to buy them up. Well, they last first got into Japan. They're like eight thousand bucks. Yep. And they've gone up a lot. This is already at 14, and they'll probably be 20, 25 by the time they leave. Origin wheels. Aftermarket front fenders, aftermarket front bumper. A Euro R. Oh, yeah. Those, let's see, Accord Euro R. If you don't know, they only sold them in Japan and they only made like a few thousand of them. Somebody told me in a video they have, is it an H or a H22. They got H22s, yeah. yep. So, but it's a Japanese version, so it has like 20 more horsepower or something. Hell yeah. Oh. Get out of my, my S15 shot. Shit, the R34 Super clean. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm not going to lie. This is one of the cleanest S15s I've seen on That's, Okinawa. Yeah, it's super clean. There's some clean ones out here that Americans are driving around, yeah. but this one right here is you know super freaking clean. My favorite part about the Soviet is the Soviet in the headlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little tiny yep. accents like that. And they're asking 1,490,000 yen, which is about 14,000 US dollars. Like I said, no JCI, but this one definitely... Looks clean. Uh, wheels got a little poke. Yeah, the wheels got a little poke. You probably have like to. It, I think it looks good. But, for, but for JCI, you'd have to obviously put some different wheels on there just to get the JCI sure. passed. It might have spacers. I'm not sure. It's super it's clean. Front. Super clean S15. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. What's up? I spoke too soon. Oh, the rust. Come out the door. Jay. Yeah. Be a good sign. I spoke a little too soon. Not a deal breaker. I like how it has the rear wiper removed too. Yeah. Little wheel, like little rims and stuff. It's got a little bit down on this side as well. It might just be door jam. Yeah, you know, not a deal breaker. breaker. It's got a Nismo gauge cluster. Oh, does it? You got a little drifting on the e-brake. It's not always a good sign. Hey, it's got the Apexi, the, the Defi recorder. Yep, yep. It's got Defi gauges. 
a random red seat. You got a Kuchka strut bar on the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's Kuchka. And windshield wipers are in decent condition. Check that out. Oh wow, that's probably cool. Aero <laughs> wipers, that's pretty cool. All right, and then there's one more car. Anything else over here? I want to hit up this R34. It, the paint on this is pretty cool color. It's kind of like the Mazda Red. Yeah, it's got yeah, like pearl on it maybe? Very nice. Work Sierra Kai's, yeah. yeah. Carbon fiber, full carbon fiber blade. Dude, I kind of like the body on this. And the paint, yeah, it's just like a candy apple red. Yeah. A little bit of damage on the hood. I mean, hood definitely has to be replaced. Yep. Maybe they're working on it now. Yeah, maybe. Like the uh, the brake duct right there. <laughs> You're going to be really excited when you stand up in a second, though, and notice something. Am I? Yeah. Front mount intercooler. I like how it's painted red. Probably not the best. <laughs> red over the intercooler, yeah. It's different though. Yeah. It's different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was talking about. No. Is there glass in there? Yeah. Oh. It's busted oh. out. Sunroof. Oh, it is busted, yeah. No, it has a, it had a sunroof. Yeah, somebody somebody super tall was sitting in one of these. I'm sure. <laughs> Momo Check well. out the whole car and fiber blade though, or the whole wing oh, of the car yeah. fiber. Stand, end caps, blade, everything. It's sick. It's just way too big for my taste. You can never go too big. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was talking about, the deletes with the little wheels. Yeah, you yeah. You got to work CRKs, you got to put weird shape. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Pretty, that's a cool touch. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. God, that jack beats are close to these cars to turn I mean, this thing is set up for drifting. Did you see the exhaust? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely drifting. And it's actually, like, welded on there. Like, yeah. it's not, it's not freaking dryer ducting. Yeah. Very cool. Let me know what you guys think about this R34 in the comments. GTT, rear wheel drive. I'd rock it. I'd definitely rock it. D-badge, big wang, and the wing's adjustable. So you can ensure you get maximum downforce when you're sliding through the turns. Then we got another R34 over here. This one looks like it's getting some love. Spoilerless. Looks pretty good. Big old cat back. These like chromoly looking gram lights. Maybe some works up front. Interesting paint color on this one. For sure. This one's sporting an RB25 as well. The headlight's missing right now, so I can see. It's got an apexy intake. It's good to see some R34s out here. I really like the brown. It's got an apexy intake in there. Yeah, I saw that. You see that maximum airflow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I bet they're getting repaired. They're like getting refinished on the headlights mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, the brown is uh, is different. It's, yeah. I like it. Sweet. Very cool. And do they have any contact information? Yeah, phone number. There's their phone number for anybody in Japan that wants to give them a call if you're looking to get yourself a R34 drift missile. I get this Tifero? Yeah. Or the S15. Or the S15. I'd like it in Tifero because it's... Tifero? 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 Probably going to get burned in the comments for pronouncing yeah. it wrong. Yeah, I'm sure. I pronounce things the way I read them. Yeah. But... Yeah. It's like a Celica. It's actually called a Celica. Celica. So, <laughs> yeah, right? But everybody's been calling it a Celica, you know, yeah. in America since dawn of time. Since they came out. Since I like this. I'd, I'd, I'd take this thing home, man. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I think that'd be a, a really cool car to own. Yeah. And yeah. the paint job on it, sweet too, man. Yeah. I want to see in the actual bright. It's like a dark blue, dark I, teal. Super metallic. Very cool. Let me know what you guys think about those cars. Dayton said he's got one more stop that we're going to go try to check out. You said a 180? Yeah. It's got some kooky tails. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go try to hunt down a 180 and we're getting back in the GTR. We'll pick back up the next spot, so stay tuned. Mexico is beautiful. Yeah, we got to, got to Mexico from Broken Hour pretty quick. Yeah, I recommend if you guys uh, ever want to buy a GTR, make sure you go to Mexico. It's a lot of fun driving around here. <laughs> all right, so Dayton is turning into like the JDM Hunter over here. Yeah. Spotting all these cool cars. I see the same cars over and over and over again, but he's driving around the streets and he found another what appears to be abandoned 180 SX. Said he's been driving by this car for like two years now and it has not moved. Same thing, it has a plate, so we're gonna check it out, do a little investigative work, and see what the deal is on this 180. Ooh, this thing 
pulling up, I was like, man, it looks like it's in good shape, but this thing is beat. Look at all the rust. Oh my goodness. You can barely see through the windshield. Look at the taillights. <laughs> what is going on in the exhaust over here? Dude, the exhaust is rusted to shit too. Whole car is rusted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. God, this car can be so beautiful. This car is done, man. I think. I had, I, from the street, it looked like it was a much better condition. That's what I was saying, yeah. Pulling up, I was like, ooh, not bad looking. Maybe abandoned, maybe not. And then, you know, as soon as I walked up to it. That's, that's heartbreaking to me, man. I love these cars. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the JCI. Nope. No JCI sticker, no road tax. Like, what? How is that plates? I don't know. And you see the plates on here? Light up. Yeah, it's got the light up plates. Yeah, I, I love these. I like all of them except for uh, Spencer's. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> one of the worst one he's ever seen. I know. These taillights are trash, though. No, they're not. They look way better than the stupid. Nah, the OG style ones. The OG, OG taillights. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there. Kooky tails or the original 180 tails? Kooky for life. I don't know, man. They these they look, look sick, man. No, look they no, they don't. I think they would look sick if right here it went like the other way rather than like if it was like teared up. I guess. That way? Yeah. It just, I don't know. I like it. It's just something with that, like... Well, a lot, he painted his red. Or black, I mean. Just, some of these are red, I think. Are they? I, remember, I might just be misremembering. I, I saw one that's carbon There's fiber. There's just something about the, the shape on them. I don't know. I love them. They don't look aggressive. I think that's what it is. They don't look aggressive. The other ones look like oh, Blade Runner. It's a 180. 180. They look like Blade Runner. You see the taillights in a 180. <laughs> I mean, I'm just playing. Actually, pretty quick. <laughs> they're no Mark V Supra, but they're pretty quick. SR20, good for like what, 220 horsepower? Uh, these came 205. 205? Uh, yeah, the they all got the SR13. So this is a, this is gonna be the red top SR13. I'm sorry, red top SR20 from the SR13. From the S yep. And uh, yeah, I don't think he got the power bump like the Sylvia's did. But I mean, 200. You from, know, a few modif factory, yeah, yeah, from factory, a few modifications, rear wheel drive, obviously. Yeah, like 250. With and These are huge and so yeah, so lightweight. Really huge in the drift community. Two door GT style car. I love it, man. I love it, man. I love, I love the flip up headlights. Yeah. Fog lights. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Comment below. Let me know what you think. I don't understand. Two S chassis. We had the S14 and we got this 180, and they both in black, rusted out, plated, but just sitting here. Like the owners forget about them. Financial. Somebody pass away. Hopefully not. I don't. I don't know what's going on. But I don't even know what's going on over here. Like what? I don't know. I don't know. But it's such a shame because there's so many people that watch these videos that would love to get their hands on a car like this. I know I would. Dude, I. Oh my god. I almost want to put notes on these cars and be like, hey, you want to sell it? It really makes me upset. Yeah. Like, hey, I got. I got a few hundred thousand yen with your name on it. Take yeah. it off your hands. It's just sitting here. What are you going to do with it? Because I would definitely LS swap this. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> just trying to trigger. Yeah, I'm about lost my stuff. <laughs> spray farted everywhere. I would just hijack your RV when you're sleeping. <laughs> it does need an RV in it, though. Well, RIP. Yeah, man. We'll, uh, we'll have to come back maybe next summer yeah. and re-attack these two S chassis and see yeah, definitely and see, what's and see if they've deteriorated more yeah. or, or if they've repainted and taken care of see them at a car meet like hey <laughs> I would rock, I'd rock this car dude alright so I think that's going to do it for today's video we're a little short on time like I said in the beginning but let me know what you guys think about those two S chassis and what was your favorite car from the cars for sale also go check out Dayton I've been saying it a million times <laughs> so close to a thousand hopefully you're at a thousand by the time well, this video gets yeah, posted we'll we'll and then you don't out. even have to go to his channel and subscribe if he's over <laughs> a thousand I'm kidding I'm kidding no really good content go check out his video from today and if you want to see more of the GTR and all the shenanigans he's getting into out here mm -hmm. um, what do you have lined up you're going to New Mexico yeah so there actually is a small chance I ran across I might be going to Vegas as well. Okay. So New Mexico is only a six hour drive from Vegas where I'm going in Albuquerque. So I'm going to hit up a JDM importer. I just, I just heard on Instagram. Hopefully they'll respond and 
welcome me with open arms. I'd love to check out their uh, storage facility and all the stuff they got coming in and out. So if anybody's watching this, any of my subscribers watching this video and you guys are West Coast, New Mexico area, hit up Dayton. He's going to be in town. He'd love to go yeah. out there. Two weeks, I'll be in yeah. town. If you got a sweet JDM ride and you want to be featured or anything like that, hit him up. Go yep. check out his channel. You get all his contact information that way. Go DM him on Instagram, Godzilla underscore Anna underscore Tux. Yep. And then go check me out, Captain26. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Stay tuned for more JDM car content and I'll catch you on the next video and then we'll see Dayton when he gets back. Yep. Later. Later.